one for you. Let's get right into it. First off, we would like to congratulate the University of Virginia for defeating Texas Tech last night <laughs> in overtime to win the NCAA tournament. And if you remember, in last year's tournament, the University of Virginia suffered a humiliating defeat. This year, they're the champions. You realize what this means, guys? There's still hope for Hillary Clinton. <laughs> If it proves anything. <laughs> but congratulations to Virginia. I want to say, I actually had you winning my bracket. I did. I did. From the very beginning, I picked Virginia. Don't believe me? Have a look. Look at that. There it is, right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's more fallout from the largest college admission scandal in history. Several parents involved with bribing universities, including actress Felicity Huffman, pleaded guilty yesterday, and she could be facing actual prison time. Luckily, she should be out in time to try to get her daughter into graduate school. <laughs> so... <laughs> if... <laughs> Come on. If Felicity Huffman doesn't end up going to federal prison, she is hoping to at least get into her safety prison. <laughs> <laughs> But what a massive scandal this has been. It is. Some parents paid $15,000. Other parents paid over a million dollars. And you just know the parents who only paid $15,000 were like, how dumb were the other kids? <laughs> a million dollars? What? <laughs> in other news, a grocery store in Australia recently recalled a line of baked goods after someone found... I don't know if you saw this story. Someone found chunks of a plastic calculator inside. <laughs> Pieces of a calculator in a pastry. And you thought you hated math before. <laughs> but here's how they caught it. Someone was eating one of the baked goods and immediately sensed that something didn't quite... <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. They found calculator parts inside. Personally, I prefer my bakery items not to contain additives. <laughs> or subtractatives, or divisionatives. <laughs> oh! What? I know! I know, right? I know! This guy can't believe his luck! Look at him! He's got leopards. How many buttons are you going to undo on that shirt throughout the show? <laughs> you see this guy? Look at this. I mean, you're right in my eye line, buddy. I mean... <laughs> at what point did you think... Yeah, I'm just gonna undo another one. <laughs> I'm genuinely interested. Because I'm so ashamed of my body, I'm like, can I wear it here? <laughs> this is a level of confidence I, 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 I aspire to. Talk me through it. What happened? I just needed an outfit, and... I, just I know you needed an outfit, but like, <laughs> look, that is like, you could. I mean, no, no, don't do it for me. <laughs> if you're gonna do it, do it. Right? If you're gonna do it, do it. I mean, anything, this has boosted our ratings, you know. <laughs> This has doubled our ratings. There's now hundreds of people watching this. It's... <laughs> and finally, this was a bizarre story. At a hardware store in California, a man was caught on camera attempting to steal a chainsaw by hiding it in quite an unusual place. See for yourself. Look at this. Here he is here in the store. He takes the blade of the chainsaw <laughs> and stuffs it down his pants. I mean... Honestly, let him keep it. Let him keep it. He earned that chainsaw more than anyone who buys one. He did. Usually, as a man, you do not want a chainsaw that close to your wood. <laughs> the suspect got away. Police are describing him as medium height, medium build, and extremely circumcised. 